Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to discuss how we can shift our scale of measure for an individual variable. In this particular data set, we're dealing with VEX depression inventory. VEX depression inventory will allow us to total all of these items here to get us a total depression score. However, all of the questions in VEX depression inventory are scaled on a scale of 1 to 4. However, when we actually go through the process, of adding up these individual questions, we're going to add them up on a scale of 0 to 3. So what this will require us to do will be to shift all of our individual scores so that 1 now equals 0, 2 equals 1, 3 equals 2, and 4 equals 3. Fortunately, we can do this very easily in JASP by adding a new column that's computed by using the add computed column function here in JASP. To do that, so go ahead and select the add computed column button, which is here in the right hand corner. And this new window will open here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and create a new variable name for your variable. It's important that you make sure you add a variable name that will be very easy for you to remember as the new created variable. You can then either select JASP's native calculator here, or if you have experience with R code, you can enter R code here. Then select the type of variable that you'd like to compute, scale or null, nominal, or text if you're calculating one, and then click Create Column. Once you've done that, a new calculator will come up here at the top, and here you can input all kinds of information. You can input all of your variables that you've selected here on the side, you can use all of these mathematical functions up here at the top, and you can even have JASP calculate certain pieces of information for other variables to add that into the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and shift our scale of measure. Effectively, if we're shifting a scale of measure, so 1 now equals 0, 2 equals 1, 3 equals 2, and 4 equals 3, we're going to just need to subtract 1 from our scale of measure. So we'll go ahead and put our variable name there. We'll go ahead and click on the subtraction symbol, and then we'll enter a 1 here. We'll go ahead and click on Compute Column, and once we've done that, if we scroll over, we can see that we now have a new variable here, and that variable has a shifted scale of measure. You can go ahead and repeat this as many times as needed for each individual variable in your data set until you've shifted all of the variables that you need to shift. All right, thanks for watching this video on shifting our scale of measure.